I'll swing on that one. I will be doing that anyway. Sometimes I break, but it's a rare recurrence. If your valve is out of shape in any way, you will see if there's a blown one. The, the petrol does burn it. Don't do it, adjust any adjustments. But every time you've got to redo the valves. Oh, that's annoying that is. <laughs> you can see it moving. That's fine, don't worry about that. The springs on these things ain't that strong. But I've got a new set for the other engine that I'm going to fix for that. Which hopefully will last longer than me. I need four stars, so you start on five. <sighs> Two, three, four, and five. It's a lot of different types of fuel, right? Eh? This would never be an issue. I went to buy some once oh, from a garage up near Burley. And it was, was it? Three pounds a litre or something silly. Ridiculous money. I left it there. Probably not helping my head gasket that few. But I think these are hardened valves and not seats. So I don't get the pinking or anything like that. This is when one of these valves glow red hot and it just goes for Dear that coke. Oh. Pops along. Right, let's see if I earn on the week. Hang on a minute. Ah,
Right, we have an airline. And it's long enough. So we go. That saves a lot. <laughs> Five seven hundred burnt at all. You can see around the edges there, look. That's where you check. That one looks all right, that one's all right. That looks like there's no thinning. That usually happens first. Okay. I think we're all right. It looking good. More look at the fresh one now. Trusty bit of sandpaper. I can't even do that, don't do that, don't do that. Do that. Mm -hmm. probably have much better ways of doing this. They're probably take it off and frame it. Just check its level. Which is just slightly more stripped down than this. This is much easier because I ain't got the, the bits on there. No. Oh. Um, no. I can't remember what they're called. We think of the stud. Me head. New gasket to go and walk is. Look some tough bits here, see. That's actually part of the combustion chamber. Uh -huh. New gaskets on there. Like that. See? It's not just that combustion chamber, it's all that. As well. Huh. Get a bit of carbon on there. Can effects. Affect it a bit. I have got some more nasty sandpaper over there, which I might use in a minute. It's 80 grit, horrible sandpaper. Just to get the worst off. This is where you really do have to clean. This is the stuff that will destroy your engine very fast. 60 grit, 
stand by that. And I'm just going to go flat over it. And that will clean that up better. Uh-huh, <laughs> it's going to be a difficult because it's all folded over there like that, so we do that. Uh, try and keep it flat. You can see even the head's got dimples in it, see it needs, that side it needs planing. And if you do this with a piece of glass, not with this paper, this paper is bloody useless. So. Um, um, normal stuff. See all those bits in there, that sand. You've got to get every one of them out because that will not do your engine any good at all. And that's why I covered up the block. So I might have to do this. See all the marks in the head? There should be none of those. So this old girl will probably blow again, no doubt. <laughs> all. all I'm basically doing is cleaning it up. And if I can get it to last six months, and see that sound bad. Good luck, bloody years. <laughs> These normally do, but all I've got is warm engines. I'll stop doing that one now. I'll blow that off just to get rid of all the bits. Now I've got my airline stuck around the brake pipe. Okay, 
It's only in a walkway, but um, you should know her. Right, please so far, so good. And now we've got to put all lines in it, see? So we'll get the final one. Well, I figured out where I'm done with it. Put it down here on the floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should keep hold of all your bits and pieces. Bad sandpaper. Okay, you're gone. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, there it is. I'll give it a go with this. Even that's got sand, it gets everywhere that sand. I'll just give it a go. Nice. Just to polish it up a bit. This is, I think it's for 2,000 grit. 320 grit wet and dry sandpaper. Oh, you've got a good clean look at that. No wonder she blows her. Poor girl. Let me just take my towel off and give you a bit more head gasket squashing. You wouldn't think it would worry you. Oh, you didn't too much. See it as well, but see, oh, it's a shame. Eh? My God, I shouldn't work so much there. Eh? <laughs> I couldn't make it work. Because years ago they didn't have any bloody thing. They had antifreeze, but that used to corrode everything. Still does. <laughs> but uh, it's not that scale. with that disgusting sandpaper push it straight through it should come out the bottom don't use the same bit because all you'll be doing is pushing the uh, stuff all over the place These are not the idea. Usually you take the head apart and clean it and polish it and scrub it and paint it and birthday it. And, uh, especially if you're not, you're never going to take it off again. If it's all done properly, you shouldn't have to. You might get it. After about 40,000, you may have to change your head gasket. But that's when you check your heads and the surfaces properly. You know there's another, I can't remember which one I don't try to do that one again. The others. I'll go right through, that's on my legs. I'm going to do the bolt holes and all. Just to make sure nothing falls through. I 
because that sandpaper is so bad. If I had some decent um, other stuff, I would have used that. Wet and dry. It just takes any loose. I don't be careful, I don't want to ram it down the wall well. That block the wall well up the tissue, that won't be good, will it? Well, it's not a tissue, it's a thingy. Get it right. Oh, my back is getting hassle. Ah. 